Yo, what up, though? It's Samir Obey. I'm chilling with the homies at High New Hip Hop. So since the last project, uh, I moved back to Detroit. I was working on this project as far as uh, all three chapters and uh, working simultaneously on the album as well. So just straight recording, pretty much. Can't be a blank here. The blank is kind of reserved for the listener. You kind of apply it to yourself and it's like reserved for an adjective. So whatever vices, whatever struggles, whatever triumphs, it's really anything that kind of fits to your story. So here is like the now and the blank is kind of just just reserved for the listener. Yeah, I mean, uh, my last project, uh, None of the Clocks Work, was kind of like directed towards, you know, relationships. So it was, it was more of like speaking to somebody. On this project, it was more of like a mirror effect. Like I wanted to acknowledge myself. So it's, it's from a different perspective as far as like, I say I a lot, it's not you, you, you. So it's like, this one's way more just directed to myself. It's like having a conversation with myself, pretty much. Initially, it was like a full length project. It was 10 songs and um, it wasn't the album though. Like I'm working on the album, so I wanted to stretch it out just to, you know, like gain the momentum and just, re it, it, I was gone for a minute. So it's like trying to like just reintroduce the music and, you know, yeah, taking the visuals further and, and just, taking a new approach. It, it's like not just randomly dropping a full project and letting people digest it. So now it's like I'm taking you on the journey as it was created. So I'm presenting it the same way I kind of recorded it. I'm basically supplying the journey as it was created to the listener. So it's like you're going to hear it as it was made. And it, it's finished. So it's just like I think it's a perfect segue into the debut album. In, in the past, I would just drop projects and not really have anything afterwards to really follow up, aside from visuals. So this time it's just like gaining that, uh, like that attention and people anticipating what's next to come. That's, that's like a, a whole new thing for me. Yeah, stash. Yeah, uh, stash, yeah. Yeah, I mean, me and Niles, uh, we've always been growing. We always experiment. I think we are both gifted in just having like an output of influence, so like, he has his own influences. He's he's a jazz head, so him just like stepping out of his you know his realm to collaborate, and it's just like a very free collaborative process. So it's 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 nothing's really ever finished. It's kind of just like we start, we find a beginning point, we build everything from the ground up, and from the production process to the recording process to the mixing process, it just it happens, and eventually we just kind of abandon it. It's like sounds good. So yeah. Like, I, I pretty much stay with them in the studio. We we spent, like, the last two years really just building the studio. So now it's like we have all the racks we wanted. Like, it's it's, it's a very uh, analog sound. So it took a long time to build that. But it's done now. And moving forward, it's just going to be very easy to create. For me to put out a song, period, I have to be a fan of it. So, I mean, there there's you, you'll hear, I'm sure you'll hear influences listening to the music. But uh, just... Everything's kind of just like a, it's like a vortex of just everything I've grew up on, everything I was a fan of. So like when I try things melodically, like it's it's all just export of influence. Yeah. I mean, I I love to collaborate with like legends I grew up listening to, as far as like like Phil Collins, uh, Sting, like all those guys. Like I not often, yeah. I mean, but but like yeah, like the Pharrells, the Kanyes of the world, like just just the contemporary, like just like pioneers of some new dope shit. It's it's so early into it, but um like we're we're lining up a lot of a lot of potential collabs, yeah. The plan is to drop the first single top of the year and start rolling out the album top of the year, two thousand nineteen.